you want to click on login to quest and because this is the first time we're logging in you'll need to select I need a UTE ID from there you'll just select continue this screen asks you to answer a couple of questions and your relationship with the University of Texas answer them as you see fit if you're unsure just select no for each of them at this point you're going to provide some of your personal information to register for the UTE ID um, at this point all you need to input and all that I suggest that you input are your first name last name and your date of birth if you want to go back in and put additional information after discussing this with your parents if you're interested in enrolling at the University of Texas at Austin you can of course put additional information but for the purposes of this class all you'll need to do is put your first name and your last name and your birth date scroll to the bottom and push continue at this point you'll be asked to create some password reset questions. These are questions that only you should know the answer to. I encourage you to pick what your favorite color is. How many brothers and sisters do you have? And the last name of your favorite teacher in high school, which obviously is going to be Boylan. And then select continue. From there, you'll be asked to create a password. Again, it's important that you take note of some of the password requirements. It has to be between 8 and 20 characters, and it must consist of some combination of both letters and numbers. So take that in account when you're creating your password, and then give yourself a hint. And this hint is something that should trigger your memory in case you ever forget uh, your password. and then select continue. You'll be asked to review your information and from there you can just, if everything's correct, select create my UTE ID. Once you select that button, you'll be given your UTE ID and it's important that you write this down and remember it. Click on Login to Quest. Now that you have that UTE ID, you're just going to enter that where it asks you for that information, and you're going to type in the password that you just created and click Login. The first time that you log in, it'll ask you to agree to the terms of use. Click I agree. Now, as you take a look after you log in, you don't have any courses yet. So, your next step is to enroll in a new course. You're going to enter the unique course number that you found on our chemistry homepage for your class period. Click look up course info and then you want to double check and make sure that this is indeed the correct class. So if you're in second period, make sure that you have put the unique number that corresponds to the second period chemistry class. And then click request enrollment. Once you've done that, you just have to wait for me to approve your enrollment and you can begin working on the homework assignments.